How's it going everybody? It is me Marcus back here in Infinite Air and this one we're checking out the final chapter of the Lax Ski Resort and hopefully he's added a lot to it. I don't know what he's added to it but hopefully he's added a lot to it um, and we're gonna check this place out. It's one of the most realistic mountains that I've ridden in the game and I'm really excited to see what he's done and kind of the whole thing here uh, now that it's at the end of the road for this mountain. was made by Neptune and he's put in some more terrain park elements down here at the bottom but the coolest thing about this mountain is how realistic it is compared to a lot of the other mountains that I played in this game he really crushed it with the realism on this one because it's not like it's train parks everywhere he has a lot of natural flowy runs and you can see through the trees you have all these different lines that you can choose and I think that's really cool a lot of these mountains kind of overlook the, uh, the natural side of things and they just go full on terrain park. It's really awesome that he has the terrain parks towards the top of the mountain, but down here towards the bottom he has all of these small details where he's just put in so much work to make this place come alive. This right here is what I'm talking about. He has uh, these poles right here that look like, <laughs> they look like snow making machines and then he has the snow cats pushing up the piles of snow. It's small details like that that I feel like get overlooked a lot of times. See, he has the piles of snow underneath the uh, the snow blowers there. It's just so cool. It's small details like that that he's really put into this place that makes it stand out. All of this up here I've written in a previous video, so if you want to check out this stuff, go ahead and check out the two previous videos that I've made on this park. But what I'm going to do is I am going to start from the very top of the mountain. I'm going to ride down. I'm going to ride through that terrain park right down there. So you will get to see a little bit of it in this video. And then I'm going to ride all the way down the mountain to that bottom park that he's put in. And I'm going to ride all of that. So I'm going to spend a lot of time towards the bottom of the mountain. But I do want to stop from the top. Stop. Start from the top and uh, go from here all the way down. I'm going to try and pop off the side of this thing. I think it's a drop right here. Oh, it is. Right into a rock. Ooh, I jumped over it. I did not think I was actually going to make it. So I'm going to try and hit the uh, <laughs> the parks down here. I might miss them though. But this is really cool. You can see that the top of the mountain is pretty powdery and not anything too crazy. But once you get into the train parks, it's those groomed runs that you can carry a lot of speed, a lot of big jumps, a ton of rails everywhere. And then he has stuff like this. You'll see a lot of this type of stuff on Neptune's levels where he kind of has kickers built into the snow. And he really pays a lot of attention to detail when it comes to this stuff. I wish I would have been able to land on the downside of that thing. That last run took me down to the bottom of the train park. So I want to actually start and do a run through the train park. I don't want to start down at the bottom of it. But it's going to be a pretty long run all the way down this thing. Which is really cool. So right here it starts to go down a little bit more. But you can see he has these side hits. It's stuff like that that really sets his mountains apart from a lot of them. Oh, that's cool. I love that. Where you kind of drop down and hip into it a little bit. You can actually start up above the park. Which is pretty cool because you can hit some of these features. And then it brings you right down here to the bottom. And this is where the train park starts. I think this is a jump line right here. Which I am really bad at jump lines in this game. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to go over here. I do want to try and get a run through this park. <laughs> I'm going really fast. I don't think you're supposed to go this fast through this thing. Oh, there we go. It's really bright out here. Kind of difficult to see some of the features. Get some flow going. wall ride right here there we go pop off of it a little bit I did land a little sketchy 
But you can see there's so many options on this top park. It's really, really cool. I think this is a jump. I'm not going to have to speedboard, though. Oh, no, I did. Nice. I didn't think I was going to. <laughs> at least I crashed at the bottom, not at the top. This next part right here is the new stuff. So I don't know exactly where I'm going. I'm just going to kind of rip down through here. And hopefully I end up at the uh, the bottom train park down there. Because that one looks like a lot of fun. Kind of in the trees and everything. This is really cool though. You get some speed built up on this thing. You kind of have the pockets of powder mixed in with the the hard pack groom sections. Oh, there's a hit right there I missed. That's so cool. I gotta hit that. Here's another one. So you can see when you check this place out from the top looking down, you can see all these different jumps that he has built in and just kind of all the hidden stuff. It's really cool. <laughs> that was so sketchy. I'm not sure how I rode away from that. There's another one right down here, which I'm not lined up for. Oh, that's cool. If I would have hit it right, that would be really sweet. Here's this one. <laughs> Come up way short on that thing. I love the pockets of powder that he has out here. It's really cool. You can spend a lot of time exploring this and not find everything because there's so much out here to try and find to ride. It's really, really cool. And I love how natural he made all of this look with the trees and just kind of the way the mountain's going up and down a little bit. Yeah, that's actually really cool right there. <laughs> I thought I was dead. I go over the rock. Ooh, barely. And then right here, he's got another side hit. Man, he spent so much time out here working on this. You can just tell. You can just tell with all the detail that he spent a ton of time out here. Right up here is that pile of snow with the snow cats that I was telling you guys about earlier. Let's see if I can do something on this. I am not going nearly fast enough. <laughs> there we go. I still have to go further down the mountain to find that that part that's down here at the bottom. So I'm going to kind of wind through these trees, see what this is about, see if I can find something in here. It just kind of opens up. A lot of open trails here. It's just awesome how realistic this place is. It's probably the most realistic resort that I've played in the game. Oh, through the trees! <laughs> that was sketchy. Oh, right here. I'm sure there's a jump right here that I'm not gonna have the speed for. Yep, there's the jump. And I didn't have the speed for it. But it's alright, I still made it through there and you can see it. Looks like it keeps going right here. That's just so awesome. I've got to be getting near this park sometime soon. I don't know if I'm going the right way, though. Looks like it might be right over here. So, yeah, it's right over here. I'm going to ride. Oh, my God, there's a lot to ride out here. So, I'm going to ride this stuff over here on the right first. And then I'm going to try and work my way back to the left. I'm not going to be able to hit everything. I can tell you that now. Just looking at this, it would take me probably an hour of gameplay in a video to show everything here so I'm not gonna be uh, making an hour-long video here but I am gonna try and flow through this a few times see if I can get some flow going down this thing I don't know if I'll be able to there we go that was pretty sweet the rails can be tricky at times <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm supposed to ride certain features um, because, again, he's super creative. 
so <laughs> sometimes I end up missing missing things or overshooting it. It's going pretty good. Oh, that had a down rail side to it. I didn't know that. I don't have the speed for that. Landed up top. Looks like I've got another jumper here. Really cool place. Oh, that's a quarter pipe. Kind of. Once you get going down through here, you really see that he has a lot of stuff built in. A lot of this stuff is actually hidden here in the woods. And it's pretty crazy. You don't see everything when you're flying over from the top. I'm going to try this again. See what this is about. I don't know what you're supposed to do there. I almost tried it like a quarter pipe. I'm going to start out a little bit further left this time and kind of see what's on this side. Some more rails and stuff. A lot of rails out here on this park up top. I like the jumps that he has built in. He's got a hip right here, which I'm not going nearly fast enough for. I saw this feature right here and I had to come back and give it another try. And this thing is really cool. Again, really creative, not, you know, the biggest feature. You can't get crazy air off of it or anything, but it's just awesome the way that he uses the game's mountain editor to create these these levels. It's really, really impressive. This is one of the jump lines, and Neptune always makes his jumps really difficult. So if I can ride this one, that'll uh, that'll be a surprise to myself because I'm not very good at controlling myself in the air in this game. There we go. What do we have here? Ooh, that's a big hit to the right. That'll be cool if I can hit that right. Not the first one. It's all about keeping the momentum. That's not how you do it. <laughs> See if I can get this hit. A little bit too far to the right. I mean, I hit it, but it wasn't that good. Right down here is the biggest jump line of the bottom section. Hopefully I can get through this thing because I suck at jumps in here in this game. So oh my God, that was lit. hopefully I can uh, make something happen. This is cool. It kind of shoots you over to the right, it looks like. Yeah, this is sweet. Trying to keep the speed up is not easy, though. It's crazy how much more difficult this game is than Steep, though. Steep is like almost like you don't even have to try uh, in Steep. This game, like, to land these tricks, you have got to really make sure you're on it. Because it's really easy to slam. Nice one. I like that. That's really cool how you kind of like jump into a crater. Oh, I'm going really far. Landed a little sketchy and lost all of my momentum. I'm going to try and keep it pretty basic. That way I can keep my speed up. There we go. Sometimes just doing some slow rotated 360s. 540s is is really satisfying more so than the big tricks the big tricks are cool but the slow rotated stuff I think is uh, some of the most fun looking tricks at least in the game thank you guys so much for the continued support on the videos if you have not hit the like button yet go ahead and hit that button subscribe for more content if you're new around here and check the links in the description follow me on social media I will see you guys all again in the next video. Have a good one.